November 29th. Guys, we're looking at stereo ahead. Check this out. That solar flare follows eye sign out. Now, a lot of our cameras and instruments just aren't working very well the last few days. They have a real good way of going down and turning the cameras at the wrong way at the right time. But look at this fantail coming out on B. And then the last go, check this out. We didn't get to watch it live. They said their servers went down. They're still down. Check that out. And they're saying that's just dust particles blowing around it. BS as usual. The Comet Ison Crack Group, you should be ashamed of yourself. You are the shields. I don't care what anybody says. You are the shields. You proved it. Now, here's the predicted path. This is from the Lasco Group. Check this out. It's holding true to that. Notice just outside the curve and in the red square in the center of the blue image, it tracks out a little higher at the top than it came in. At, notice the angle. Same comes in a little sharper, then goes out at the top. It's going to start curving. You'll see that probably by in about six or eight hours, we'll start to see more definite curve back over Earth. Check these out. Just different, uh, looking at it, different temperatures and exposure times. Here's where I think we probably some of the better ones. And it looks like it's almost jetting from the front and back, guys. And that would kind of make sense because if you think about the coming in at that speed and being thrown into that curve, if ISUN was ever rotating, it's rotating now. Check that out. And it must be have a lot of metal in the core because it did if it, I think if it had been mostly rock, then it would, would have been debris. Now I think there's a lot of debris in that fantail, and I think there's some following eye sun from the blowbacks from the X flares, and about two or three other flares, if you think about it, especially the one yesterday when they cut Lasco off for three hours as it encountered that flare, and then we got to see it brighten back up. But here's the uh, pass. You can check them. That was stereo A and B. Now, here's coming out, notice, at the bottom, December 1st through the 7th on the HI-1A. We watched it come in on the SETI. And it's going to be kind of hard to see on this camera, but we're by this time, the ground-based telescopes are going to be starting to pick this back up again. So we're going to start getting images there, too, guys. But there's your dates. Again, that's H1A. And so far, it has held the path that was predicted in the JPL models. Heads up, be safe.